thoroughly enjoying the smoke in my face as I'm trying to do this. The things I have to put up with. Spring is here and summer is right around the corner. Last year, I built this awesome fireplace and this hammock pergola behind me. So this year, I got a jump start, built a couple Adirondack chairs so I can enjoy my fireplace and have a couple beers. Stay tuned so you can see how I did it and build your own. On all of my projects up to this point, I've done all the designing myself. But this time I wanted to try something different. So I got a set of plans and patterns from Woodcraft just to see how it would go. And I gotta tell you, I found it incredibly easy, especially the patterns. I mean, it just makes everything super easy for you to do. And this is definitely something you could do in a weekend. For outdoor furniture, there's a lot of different woods that you could use. You could even use composites if you want. I'll be honest with you, I chose to use cedar because it's classic, it's light, it's rot resistant, and it, it's just gonna hold up well over time for me. Not like how it looks, really.
So when it came time to final assembly, there's a couple areas where there's carriage bolts used. Originally, I was using carriage bolts with lock nuts. The problem I was having was the lock nuts, as they're starting to run down, it's getting tighter and it would actually grab the bolt and cedar being such a soft wood, it would just chew it out so the bolt would spin. What I did was I got some external lock washers, sometimes they're called star washers, and I put it so that it would fit over the square shank on the carriage bolt itself. That way, as I was tightening it up, it gave the bolt and the wood something to bite into, and it worked really well. Now, I cut plugs to cap off all the screws that I used on these chairs. I had never cut plugs before, so the first thing I did was I went out and got a set of plug cutters. This is the style I got. It's the, the tong style. This particular style cutter, I was having a lot of trouble with as far as getting successful plugs out. I was getting maybe 50% in the cedar. It seemed like these teeth were just tearing up the cedar because it's so soft. I think in hardwood this would be fine, but with the cedar it was definitely giving me some issues. So what I did was I went back to Woodcraft and found a plug cutter that has more of a full circle and a knife edge on it, figuring that this would just actually cut through the cedar, much like paper, and I got about a 90% success rate on plugs with this style cutter in soft woods. I think both of these cutters are fantastic, but for soft woods, this was the winner for me. Now when it came time to finish, there was many different options. I mean, with the cedar, I could have just left it raw 
brought it outside. Over time, it would have turned silver. Some people really like that look, but I wanted something a little bit darker. So I just used a deck finisher uh, that was stained. It was a darker color, and it's an all-in-one solution, stained poly type thing. Brushed it on, couple coats, brought it outside, let it sit in the sun. Good as gold.